I haven't seen I had a hair of the neighbours for quite a few days. Um well if one of my two of my cousins come to come to live with me. Well just to visit me, yeah. I didn't know well I actually thought one uh, one of the jobs I had, the last job I serious job I had, I was facing two hundred and fifty members of the IRA and they didn't really like me. But then after I'd realised that um, they would have blown me up the next day, a long time after that, uh, I was finally told that I have relatives all over Northern and Southern Ireland. So obviously one of them came to visit me. He had to walk around town in traditional paramilitary gear. Well, he only had his um, balaclava and a traditional IRA balaclava. And he borrowed my clothes. He wanted to tone himself down a bit. I mean, there was only one of him, not 250, but... Um, yeah, I mean, I've never had any bother since. I mean, um, I went for a nut and bolt for my car. I said, you want a nut and bolt for your car? You can have a Lamborghini. You can have a private chair. You can have a Boeing 7,457. I said, don't pay. She's not violent. She just plants things. Oh, look, like, oh, look. Like. Uh, watercress, reeds, bombs. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I've never had any bother since. Some people say it serves them right for the way they've treated them. Yeah, and that's the thing, when he had a balaclava on, you couldn't tell whether he was Irish or whether he was an Arab with that uh, with, uh, white tan on. <laughs>